Over 30,000 people, many supporters uh, and, and members of the PMOI have been executed for standing up for their beliefs in recent years just by denouncing Islamic fundamentalism and the absolute rule of the clergy. Those very brave men and women who gave up their lives for the cause of democracy and freedom in Iran. In the last three decades, the absence of accountability has emboldened the regime to continue its atrocities, both by continued executions inside the country and killing its opponents outside. As Brian's already said, in the last four weeks alone, over 90 people have been executed. That is since the Iranian elections. Many of these executions have been carried out in public, and very sadly, there are politicians in Europe and indeed in the United States who continue in their search for moderation and reformists within what many people believe to be a criminal regime. In the last six months alone, we have all witnessed three rocket attacks on Camp Ashraf. Ten residents have lost their lives and almost 170 have been very seriously injured. These are terrorist attacks against defenseless people, residents of Camp Liberty, and this has provoked strong condemnation from members of this House and indeed overseas, but still nobody has been brought to justice, and that cannot be right. Despite the fact that the UN's assistance mission for Iraq is supposed to be monitoring the situation on the ground and in the camp, he's supposed to be defending the safety and the security of the residents, but unfortunately quite the opposite is happening, and the UN AMI have been used by the Iraqi government to pursue its own political agenda. We can't let that continue. Camp Liberty is to many a prison. It remains a very dangerous place to reside. The UN AMI, in my opinion, and indeed in many others in this room, is not doing enough to prevent this kind of attack, and particularly the missile attacks which the residents have been experiencing. It's not putting pressure on the situation to prevent these attacks and it is allowing the Iraqi government to continue the transfer of hard hats, safety vets and other security equipment belonging to the residents of Ashraf to Liberty, which could at least reduce the number of casualties. Instead, they are blaming the residents for the situation which they had nothing to do with and they were put into by Martin Kobler, the UN Secretary General, his own special representatives, by their forceful eviction from Ashraf where they have been living reasonably peaceful to some extent for the past 30 years but in prison-like conditions. From today, the UN should be held accountable. It should be held accountable for any future attacks that occur because they know the threat and that they know the solution, which is to return the residents to Ashraf, which is 80 times bigger and is more secure. So why we all remember the brave men and women who have lost their lives for the cause of democracy and freedom in Iran, I'd certainly like to express my support for the struggle and can assure you the members here in this House of Parliament will continue with our endeavours to the Iranian people achieve their goals through peace and security and through their own peoples. Thank you.